welcome to assist college of arts and commerce this is assist edupedia myself assistant professor sunil shah today i will be covering up the topic called types of tribunal and types of court under the subject called business law which is there in first year bbi of sam 2 unit 2 and module 1 of the bombay city course of fy bcbi students i would like to explain you what went by tribunal tribunals are not only not originally a part of constitution of india they are the part of the executive branch of the government they were first introduced in 1985 and they were constituted with the objective of delivering speedy inexpensive and decentralized adjudication of disputes in various matters students i like to inform you that Uh, the tribunals are constituted with the objective of the speedy disposal of the 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 matters which is there in the court somewhat uh, like the matters which to be handled with the special tribunal if the person goes to the court then it takes lot of amount of time and the money and uh, when it would be uh, the the results would be getting you are not aware so tribunals are constituted in 1985 for the speedy disposal of that particular the matter which is in object and for the adjudication of the disputes with the various matters tribunals are created to avoid the regular courts route for dispensation of disputes so there are various tribunals which are there in the places where the matters can be resolved some tribunals are specialized government agencies like the boards they have the special decision making powers conferred upon by the law the different types of tribunals are drt that is called debt recovery tribunal national company law tribunal consumer forum motor accident claim tribunal central administrative tribunal and the green national green tribunal uh, explain you one by one the different types of tribunal first is debt recovery tribunal the debt recovery tribunals and the debt recovery appellate tribunals were established under the recovery debts and bankruptcy act 1993 with the object of providing expeditions adjudication of the and the recovery of the debts due to the banks and the financial institution so this are special tribunals wherein the matters would be resolved faster if the matter goes to the debt recovery tribunal as of now as the uh, the information what we have 39 debt recovery tribunals and the five five debt recovery appellate tribunals are there in india each debt uh, recovery tribunal that is db drt and drat is headed by the presiding officer and the chairperson respectively the post of presiding officer is equivalent to the district judge so whatever the decision is been given by the debt recovery tribunal is more or less as by the order of the court and the post of chairman is equivalent to that of high court so if you are aware with the drt it is like a district court and da drat that is the powers of the high court so more powers are been given to the debt recovery tribunal coming to the national company law tribunal the national company law tribunal or the ncalt is a quasi judicial body of india adjudicating the issues concerning with the companies in the country so whenever the matters are related to company some thing like uh, din or filing of the returns or non conduction of the meetings or non uh, a uh, dispensing of the share certificates or share warrants so or otherwise the interest are not been given or the dividends are been not been paid or any other matters related to mo or aoa then such matters are been heard only to the national company law tribunal so the matters related to company under the company act are been heard by national company law tribunal only it is formed on june 1 2016 as per the provisions of the company act 2013 and nc lt is been formed under the section 408 of the indian government of the indian companies act nclt has the power to regulate its own procedure so they themselves has the power to regulate their own procedure consumer forum you are aware consumer protection act 1986 was been there now it has been resolved, uh, repealed by the consumer protection act 2019 and it was came into force in 2020 <coughs> so in this uh, forum the consumer who buys the goods or avails the services are been taken care of consumer for works under the consumer protection act 2019 to so what are the what are the matters what are the uh, objective of consumer forum is to create awareness among the consumer about the consumer rights 
government gives financial assistance to consumer forums consumer forums also represents the individual consumers in the consumer courts consumer forum is also known as consumer protection council so whatever the matters are been heard in the consumer are the rights of the consumer when they are not been heard properly then the consumer has the right to take it to the appropriate forum that is called consumer protection uh, consumer forums coming to the next uh, tribunal that is called motor accident uh, claim tribunal uh, macd motor accident claim tribunal in this cases the when, the when there is an accident between the two different vehicles or when there is a compensation if you want to take it when there is a injury when a person is traveling on a road or train or any of the mode of uh, transportation public then such type of cases or such type of compensation have been heard under motor accident claim tribunals the mcalt is the phenomena started by the civil courts to ensure that the cases are related to the motor vehicles are speedily carried out so only in this uh, macd the cases related to motor accidents motor claims compensations insurance part are been heard the motor accident claim tribunal i and read with section 165 which authorizes the state government to constitute a claim tribunal to educate on the claims for the compensation which emerges from the motor vehicle accidents ensuring death or the bodily injury to the persons or the damage to any of the property of the third party its objective is to provide remedy to the victims of the accident by by motor vehicle in appropriate time without any procrastination without wastage of time coming to the next part that is called central administrative tribunal that is called cat cat was established in 1985 through the administrative tribunals act the cat is responsible for adjudication that is resolving of the dis uh, disputes or trials of the matters connected with the recruitment and the conditions of the services of the personnel in a public services in india coming to the national green tribunal ngt ngt was established in 18th of october 2010 as a specialist body for handling of the environmental disputes that involves multi discipline issues the environmental disputes would be related to air pollution or water pollution uh, or any other such type of matters which would be related to the environment would be heard under national green tribunal it was formed by replacing the national environmental appellate authority so national ngt is been replaced by national environmental appellate tribunal it also draws the inspiration from article 21 of the constitution of india which assures to provide a healthy environment to the citizens of india so whenever there is a disturbance by any of the company or a factory or industry related to environment it would be heard directly to ngt the ngt is a specialist body for the effective and expeditious disposal that is fast disposal of the cases that are related to the protection and conservation of the environment environment forest and other natural resources india has become the third country in the world after australia and new zealand for setting up specialized environment tribunal and also the first developing country to do so so uh, students you are aware many of the cases are been heard uh, by ngt if there is also disturbance or the conservation of the environment is disturbed then it would be directly the case would be going fit case under ngt court we would be explaining about uh, uh, the previous slides what we heard about was tribunal now we are speaking about the courts court is also called as the court of law it is a person or a body of persons having the judicial authority to hear and resolve the disputes civil criminal and assistial or the military cases the word court which originally meant simply an enclosed place also it denotes the chamber hall building or another place where judicial proceedings are held the different types of court under that we would be specially focusing on supreme court of india high court of india lower court of india and the revenue courts supreme court of india is the apex body of the india where the supreme judicial body of india and the highest court of the republic of india under the constitution of india it is the most senior constitutional court and has the power of judicial review so it can review its own decision the chief justice of india is the head of the chief judges of the supreme court which consists of maximum 34 judges and has extensive power in the form of original jurisdiction appellate jurisdiction or advisory jurisdiction so the function of supreme court is of three fold that is original jurisdiction appellate jurisdiction or advisory jurisdiction coming to the high court of india the high court of india are the highest court in the appellate jurisdiction of the each state 
and the Union Territory of India. That means in Union Territory also there are High Courts and also in the states also we have High Courts. High Court accesses its original civil and criminal jurisdiction. So the difference between the Supreme Court and the High Court is that we have in the Supreme Court adversary jurisdiction here in High Court we have something like criminal jurisdiction. Only if the subordinate courts are not authorized by the law to try such cases or the lack of pecuniary territorial jurisdiction in such cases high court may intervene and give its own decision over and above the lower courts coming to the high court high court also enjoys the original jurisdiction in the certain matters if are designed specially by the constitution or a state or union of the law the work of the most high court primarily consists primarily consists of appeals from the lower courts and writ petition in the terms of Article 226 and Article 227 of the Constitution. Writ jurisdiction is also the original jurisdiction of the High Court. There are different types of writ, writ of amendments, writ of habeas corpus, writ of prohibitions are also been covered under the under uh, the High Court under the Article 226. Coming to the lower courts of India, every state has district courts that are called the lower courts. Every state of India further incorporates some lower courts that are lower in terms of powers and authority than the high court of the state. These courts are in the terms of district means every district of the state has a court that employs maximum government judicial power in that district only. So whenever the matters uh, which are has lesser pecuniary jurisdiction then the matter would be heard directly by the lower court that is called the district court. Coming to the revenue court, revenue court uh, deals with the cases of the land revenue in the state. The highest revenue court in the uh, in the state is the under the board of revenue under under it it has the courts of commissioner collectors tehsildar assistant tehsildar the board of revenue hears the final appeals against all the lower revenue courts under it so revenue courts are also been formed in india as in the states thank you from my side to students in this particular video in this particular video of assist to YouTube video, I explained you different types of tribunals and the different types of courts. Thank you from my side.